Now I have the pleasure of introducing to you a young lady that you all know from before. You know, when I was coming to the Philippines and going to set up the business here, I really wanted to find somebody to, uh, to work with. And because I don't know the Philippines, So I don't know. I didn't know any any Philippines. So I was I was thinking about having some celebrity or somebody who's known in the Philippines to guide me. So I was searching, and suddenly Mystica came came there. So I said Mystica, who's Mystica? So I was checking around, and I found out that she was a celebrity, a singer, and a dancer. And I found a lot more. And I asked, in fact, Johnny is Johnny is my friend from uh, Norway. Can you raise up Johnny? I've been working with him for 20 years or so. He's a fantastic guy. He's one of the greatest guys in total quality management in Norway. We've been working together for many years. We've done quite some education programs together, Johnny and me. And I asked his wife, he's, he's, he's with a Filipino, and, and she said, I, know, I asked her, do you know Mystica? She said, yeah, Mystica, she's a dancer and singer, blah, blah. Well, I found out that Mystica was much more than that. She was a singer and dancer, yes. But she was also, she was also a model and endorser. She's a songwriter, you know, and she's an actor, TV, radio host, unbelievable actor. I'm sorry, actress. <laughs> yes, I hope there's a difference. I'm not an actor. Yeah. And, and she, now she's also a movie writer, and she's going to be a producer and and uh, a director of her own movie. She's going to tell you about it, I'm sure. And you know, I found also. The quality I was looking for in Mystica, she's a fantastic marketeer, a saleswoman, unbelievable. The ones who are, she's promoting her products for, the pro she's doing a great job. Everywhere she goes, she talks about these products and these products and these products. So she's a great, you know, she's worth a lot of money for the people who she, she's working for in that. But on top of that, she's even sexy. <laughs> That's a bonus. <laughs> so in fact, we have a promise to work together in years to come. Uh, she's going to be on the board of my company, Better Globe Marketing, uh, and I'm going to be on the board of her Mystica Foundation. So I think we can sort of work together in a good way. And I hope that we will be happy here in the Philippines doing these things, that we can make a lot of business in the Philippines here, and I will definitely help her uh, with her foundation, because I have the same in Africa, you know, doing uh, eradicating poverty in Africa for the poor children there. So we'll do the same thing here, and she's taking care of the Filipino market for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome now, uh, for the second time today, I think it is, the fabulous and one and only Mystica. Yes, Mr. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> He gave a very, very wonderful introduction. I don't even know what to say anymore. I am actually nervous. You know why? Because this is the first day of my life that I'm not performing. I am not splitting. <laughs> That's why I'm sorry if he thought about it, that I, would, I was going to be uh, splitting or singing up here. But I said, I'm sorry, because if I'm going to split or sing, Everybody would just say, hey, sing, right? But I wanted to do something else. I wanted to be here as a motivational speaker and to talk about passion. All right, this is a question. Because I didn't really know exactly what passion means until I met Mr. Rina. When I met him the first time, the first thing he ever asked me is, what is your goal? It is a very, very simple question, but it was so hard for me to think. What is my goal? So something that popped out in my mind was the issues when I thought that, well, I wanted to be the most successful woman in the world and retire very young. Is that the right goal? To be the most successful and retire very young? No, right? No? Why? Why is it no? Huh? You have so many plans that you can do. Exactly. You have so many plans and what you say retire means relaxing. Relaxing. It's stopping. Dying. Finishing. Dying. Huh? Dying. 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 <laughs> Meaning you are killing your passion. Yes. 
right? So when my sister told me, Ruby, what the hell are you doing in the Philippines? Don't you know that when you left, all you had left was just the money you had when you sold the property in Quezon City? And by going to the States, I said, I was going to retire young after five years here in the Philippines because that was my goal before. I was going to be here in the Philippines and do whatever I was doing for five years. And after that, I was going to retire young. And that's what I did. Was I happy? No, I wasn't happy. Why is it that Mystic is back? Why? Because I have a goal. But my goal is no longer that goal of being a controversial that Mr. Spirito hated it so much. <laughs> my goal is no longer that kind of, hey, you know, pretty go lucky kind of thing on his show because he said, Mystica, people want to take you seriously. So can you please stop? Wearing that tiny little outfit. <laughs> and he was right. He was right. I was known as a very, very controversial singer here. Not only a very controversial singer, but controversial actress and girls or whatever there and whatever that. Because my goal was to be controversial. Did I do it? Yes. yes. Perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> there you go. So I said, if I was able to do that mystica image, because that wasn't me, that wasn't me. The mystica is somebody I created, that wasn't me. The mystica, the reality of mystica is right here, talking to you right now. Thank you. See? When I told Miss Diana, I said, Miss Diana, I am going to do this foundation, okay? If I were able to become the most controversial before being that happy-go-lucky type of person, and they took me seriously. They took me seriously, really, because to the fact that I was on TV every almost week or every weekend or almost every day because they knew that everybody, especially on the media or whatever, they were actually patronizing that mystica before, way back then, just being that person. And why can't they patronize the mystica image with this right now? Because right now this is the reality of me, right? So don't you think somebody else would take me seriously at this point? Huh? Yes. Okay, a very good example. When Juvie, my secretary, where's Juvie? Okay, right there. <laughs> okay, when Juvie was actually trying to get some sponsors and blah, 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 and somebody said, oh no, Mystica, Mystica is not for our product because she's the type of masa only, right? Masa. So it means to say that what was left in their minds was the masa image, the Mystica back then. So they didn't realize that I could do AB too. AB is where I belong. I was in the States, I was in Canada, AB class all the time. But nobody knew it. Because by the time that I came to Northern Time and I said, I wanted to be a very, very good singer right here, can you help me? And then I presented this I Got The Power album, which was written by me back then. He didn't take me seriously. Because he said that masa sells first. If you are going to do the masa first, and then I'm sure you're going to click. And he was right. He was very sure I was going to click. But right now, now that this is the time that I'm going to change my image, and with my practice at this point, so I didn't actually waste that song because I put a lot of work to that song. I put a lot of work to that album back then when I was a dancer in the States.